Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Uh, we are having a nice special breakfast this morning. Um, you know, of course, uh, in uh, a number of countries, they have this uh, strange um, chocolate thing that I've seen uh, selling in the uh, in the Latin American stores. It looks like a, a wrapped up bowling pin, and they always and they hang dozens of those from the ceiling. On the other hand, when I went browsing yesterday, what did I see on sale for a dollar fifty? But Panettone. So even though this is um, even though this is normally on sale, or rather you um, eaten during Christmas. I certainly didn't want to pass this up, not for a dollar fifty. Besides, Panettone is good stuff. So we are just putting a uh, simple French toast together. We have three eggs here. To this, we add maybe about half a cup of milk. A little vanilla extract. Get to open some new nutmeg. And I'm just going to do this nice and quick here. Come on, there it is. Come on, come on. And of course, simonin. sugar to sweeten this up. Otherwise it would be very bitter French toast. That's about a tablespoon. Now we get to break out the panettone. If you have never had panettone, it is well worth going out of your way to give it a try at least once. Panettone is a very buttery bread with dried fruits mixed into it. Traditional dried fruits of the kind you might see in a fruit cake. But this is no fruitcake. It has raisins, some uh, candied orange. And it is definitely a special holiday treat. Bake it, they shape it using a paper cup, almost like a giant bread cupcake. Mm, no, that 
it's off. Okay. Alright, let's first take care of the end. I am not going to throw this out. I'm going to toast that separately. And the muffin top. Mm -hmm. Toasting the brick, we start soaking panettone and then we get on to frying it. We'll need to soak it for a few, maybe about 10 seconds or so for each side. Again. No more than a few seconds, it's all that was needed. So the first one too long. for the cast iron. I know the last couple of weeks or so I've been playing with the large fish pan, but here we're going vintage. fish fryer. Dates to anywhere between the 1940s and 1960s. Technically they even made them in the 1930s, but because this does have the Sportsman logo, I think it's probably later than the 30s. Season cast iron and no sticking. Is 
a reason why French toast is so popular. It's so easy to make and very delicious. Which is why, again, I highly recommend giving Panettone French toast a try. Actually giving Panettone anything a, a try. this a bit. Mm -hmm. It's been a nice Easter morning so far. I was able to put together seven Easter baskets this year more than a, in quite a while. And my roommate was nice enough to give me a chocolate scented bunny. For lunch today, we are going to celebrate the end of our Lent vows and have some meat. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry we are not permanently going vegetarian or vegan. However, it was fun. I think I'll switch these around. Oh yeah, there you go, you hear that. turned up on the back burner. I do not like using people's real names on the internet, which is why I refer to my roommate by her chosen name of Media Playgirl. Don't worry, we're just friends. on French toast, and of course, since this is New England, the maple syrup capital of the world, we will be having genuine New England maple syrup with it. Hello, 
Come and get it. All right. Now we move on to number two. Soak up the last of this batter. Definitely absorb too much in that first one. So we'll reuse it. use holidays as an excuse to splurge. Any excuse is a good one. I hope you folks are splurging this morning as well. Feel free to chow down. Definitely hot enough this time. Sure, this is about as exciting to you folks as watching paint dry. Absolutely. In New England, it's a sin otherwise. in our sportsman fish fryer. First generation because it has the square handles. History of this thing is 
It was originally a sad iron heater, and until one of BSR's marketing people or salesmen got the idea of using it as a grill. So they started making it in the 1930s, and it kind of took off. Made it throughout their entire the entire existence of the company. And when BSR finally folded in the late early 1990s, they passed on the Sportsman Grill to a Lodge to settle their debts. The Lodge continues to produce the Sportsman Grill today. And it is a perennial seller. Just as good as how BSR? B N S was? Well, B S N R, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. They've actually made some improvements to it over the years. My friend Jeff Rogers, he did a video comparing a new Lodge Sportsman to the original BSR Sportsman. And he found that Lodge made some minor changes that were actually a pretty big deal. And given that, he prefers the modern version. Oh yeah, little things. After all, they're a company like anyone else, and so eventually someone says, you know, we could modify such and such a thing, At which point then they put in a memo, it goes through committee, it goes through uh, research and development. Right. Finally, a few years later, the actual change goes into place. That's not bad. No. <coughs> That's why these handles change to more rounded handles over time. Alright, we're getting close to done here. You don't have to wait on my account. Oh no, I'm not waiting. I'm just <laughs> doing my multivitamins <laughs> and vitamin D3. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the 21st century. <sighs> However, we are just about done here. Forward to this myself. Yeah, I'm pop that off with a little bit of that uh, organic ground side on cinnamon. <laughs> That's one thing that I've always seen my mother do for French toast. She <laughs> loves adding cinnamon. Mm. It and did, it's good. I did put some in the batter, but hey, no, it's always, I mean, add as much as you want. It. You're the one eating it. Mm. And no, I won't ask you to do the cinnamon challenge. I'll do the no tofu challenge. After the last couple of months of eating uh, all uh, vegetarian, um, are you tired of tofu? Um, uh, part of it, like, I do like it. Mm-hmm. Especially trying it with different things. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you do different things, like, you know, you can mix it up. I like it for itself. Saturated it. Looks like it still came out okay. Here we are. Top with just a wee bit of maple circle. breakfast is, is served. Happy Easter, and I hope everyone has a good day. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>